Had to get my plate out of the microwave. I haven't eaten all day. I'm running off of smoothies. I had two smoothies today. I had um, I had a couple bottles of water, and I had a cup of coffee. So bear with me. I know some of y'all don't like to eat, like the eating on the live. Y'all say it's unprofessional. I really don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I have to nourish the body. If I don't nourish the body, then I'll get sick. Possibly pass out or some shit. So what's going on? We here. You know what I mean? I, I, I named the title Boxing in Relationships because earlier they had me talking about I don't know how it came up, but on the Instagram live, they had me speaking on females. So for fighters, you really don't need to be around that type of energy. But if you're going to do it, it should be a special young lady that really understands what's going on. Not the selfish type. On another note. Spaghetti crazy. Only a grandmother could pull some of this type of shit off. You feel me? What's going on, y'all, ladies and gentlemen? What's popping? Talk to me. Just send the questions through. We just gonna get it popping. I ain't really, I ain't really for all the, the long winded shit. What's going on? Appreciate y'all tapping in, man. We got twenty five people in here, man. Six people like the joint. Six people like the joint. I, I like where this is going. What you grubbing on? I'm starving like a motherfucker. I'm doing a weight cut right now. So if you're doing a weight cut, you don't need to be fucked. Well, honestly, I got the wheat grain noodles with the turkey, the ground turkey. This is spaghetti, ladies and gentlemen. Shakur Duck, let's discuss. Fet no, talk to me about that, Fetty. What happened? Why you feel like Shakur Duck? What's going on with you this week? Regular shit, we in the lab. Monday started off weird as shit. So weird as shit happened at the gym, but we got past that. We had a Tuesday right now, so. Do you think sex take away a boxer's legs? Absolutely. So my second amateur fight, I actually broke my virginity that same day. And... I eventually got stopped. I didn't get stopped, but I quit after the first round because I was, my legs, I couldn't feel my legs and I was winded, bro. I was tired as shit. I felt like I had just got done running 10 miles or some shit. So I wouldn't advise a fighter having sex during camp. You know what I mean? Sometimes, Sometimes you hear about fighters saying they do have sex during camp and shit like that. Those guys are out of their fucking mind. But they're not. And the reason I say that, though, because you're fucking with the fight. But the reason they're not out of their mind, it keeps them sane. It keeps them feeling like a normal person. You know what I mean? So you got guys who do shit like that, you know what I mean, to, to make them feel normal, to take the edge off. It gotta knock Something got to knock the edge off. So some guys I've seen take a drink, smoke, you know what I mean, and have sex. I've seen it happen. So, you know what I mean? I've heard of it, but is it a smart thing to do? Nah, you don't want to do that to yourself. You get hurt like that. Appreciate you, Bronco Kid. What's good, J A K B N C or Boxer Salute? What's going on? What's popping? Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Rudy. What's the best advice for a young man? Stay focused and focus on yourself. You know what I mean? Do what you have to do first for yourself. Don't, don't look for other people to push you, give you certain types of energy, shit like that. Just focus on yourself. I know it's tough sometimes. Some of us have caring hearts and we like to do for other people. But the best thing I would say, bro, is care for yourself. Do for yourself. Make sure you groom yourself well. Make sure you just take care of yourself. Practice on being a better you every day. 
You know what I mean? Even if it's just reading something, even if it's just, you know what I mean, exercising, something, just do something towards your, your benefit. You feel me? Hard to have a relationship at all if you're a man on your grind and your purpose in boxing or anything. Real shit. You know what I mean? And and a lot of us, a lot of us are not told when we're younger to, you know what I mean, really worry about ourselves. A lot of us have to, you know, we we we're hearing the opposite, like don't be selfish, help your peoples out, you know, this and that. You know, I had little brothers and little cousins I had to look out for. So a lot of times I, I wasn't able to focus on myself. I was always watching somebody, babysitting and shit like that, and, and I had to help take care of them. You know what I mean? Wilder said it don't bother him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why would they talk like that? Because he'll punch you. Especially if you go. Understand this real shit. Gotta have a woman that understand. I think Shakur doesn't have leverage to ask for more bread. Dev was offering him more than he made in the last three fights. If he won, he would have all the leverage for the tank fight and be on his way. Well, to be honest, how do you know Devin was offering him more money than he's ever made? And also... I'm going to be honest, it's tough to, for Dev to come up with that number. Dev has his own promotion, but that's more so just to cover his career. But Bob is really pulling the strings. So let's be real. Let's be real here. You know what I mean? So is it really a duck? And Shakur, I feel like it's just as known, just as, known as Devin. Could we be honest about that? Now, you don't, you don't have to agree. Said he had to crack something so he didn't kill nobody. <laughs> Question, what age do you think is too late for a guy to pursue professional boxing? I'm going to say if you F anything after like 36, you like chill. You know what I mean? You can get hurt. But if you got a background, you got some skills with you, or you just one of them guys don't give a fuck, go for it. I can't tell somebody what, what to do. Well, only thing I can do is guide him. Now, a guy who don't have a big amateur background and he jumping into the pro ranks and stuff like that, you got to be careful of the guys that get you, they getting you to fight. If they calling you for guys that got a lot of experience, stay away from them guys. Now, if you're fighting guys on the level, on the same level, then go for it. I can't tell you not to do it. You know what I mean? Boxing is something that a lot of people wanted to do, but they just never could find the right situation or support system or whatever the case. But I can't tell you don't do it. I would just say, when it comes to the fights, be careful. Be careful who they try to put you in there with. Do as much homework on the guys as you can. Yeah, I watched both of that uh, All Access, Bronco. Renaissance was popping. San Diego in here was popping. Can't pour from an empty cup. Thanks, Roger. What's goody? What's popping? So because we gotta go up early, most of us. True. Team, team Earl keeps saying Bud ain't fought nobody. Do you see energy changing on Earl's side as fight is getting closer? No, I don't think the energy changing. I think they just both they just both two guys ready to go. They more so like, man, get us in the ring and let's make this shit happen. I think they just tired of talking about it. Cause if you look back in both of the guys' careers, they both neither one of them is real big shit talkers for real, for real. You know what I mean? They they both they just want to get to the fight. You know what I mean? So that's really what that is. I think they have a little more known because of YouTube. Maybe that's it's possible. But then, all right, let's say this: Dev is known. For, for being on you, you know, on YouTube, beating guys up in sparring sessions, winning little um, JO amateur tournaments, Junior Olympic. Shakur actually won a silver medal. That's the highest level of boxing you can get to is a gold medal. So he fell one fight short of winning a gold medal. He won a silver medal. So he he kind of right. I mean, in my eyes, I mean, other people could see it another way, and I'm not mad about that. You know what I mean? But and in my eyes, Dev was more famous because of YouTube, but then Shakur is more famous because of his accomplishments. So therefore, I think it's even. 
Now, let's be honest. Devin is, Devin is the king at 135 pounds, but Shakur, two-time world champion. We can't, we can't, we can't shoot him all the way down. You know what I mean? He is now, he's just not bringing nothing but a win. How much you putting down on, C yes, it's a payday on the 25th. I don't know, but we gonna get paid, baby. We gonna go ahead and make this money. Outside of Boots, who is your favorite fighter, objectively? Boots, Boots, to be honest, Boots, Boots not my favorite fighter. I don't know why he said that. He one of, he one of the guys I like to watch, but I like Arthur better be at. I like what he do, he's a monster. I like um I like Tyson Fury when he fighting actual fighters. Uh, I like Cool Boy, I like Boots, I like Spence, I like Crawford, I like the Charlos. You know what I mean? I like I like what Tim Zoo been doing. You know what I mean? I like um I like little young boy Abdullah Mason, Keyshawn. I like all the little dudes. I like Pitbull Cruz. I like what he do. Pitbull Cruz a monster. I like Tank. I like Dad. I like Shakur. I like boxing. You feel me? Shakur watches Devin respectfully. <laughs> Who look more locked in, Earl or Terrence, according to all XS episodes? They both look locked in. I ain't gonna lie, man. They both look like they're ready to go. They both look like they mean business. That's what I love about this fight. I don't think... No, no, st no stone to go left unturned, and they going all in. I think this is an all in job. Devin Washer Shakur respectfully. That's why I favor Keyshawn over Frank Martin. Nah, I'm not. It's nah, I'm not. It's not by a lot, and I don't think he up. I think the fight is just not ready yet. <clears throat> That's true too. The Cowboys got a better chance than Spence, in my opinion. <laughs> Martin didn't look good in a Saturday fight. I think I think Frank Martin just went out. I told somebody, I said, I think Frank Martin just wanted to go out there and probably possibly wanted to walk that guy down. But the, the rhythm that the guy was giving up, that guy Artem, he he was coming to the real weird rhythm, up and down rhythm. He was he was taller than Frank Martin, so it was throwing him off. You know I mean? He was popping that jab. He was in and out with his punches. I just think it was an aqua fighter and Frank Martin couldn't really catch his rhythm until later on in the later on in the fight. It's so hard to pick a winner in that fight. It's crazy, for sure. If Charlo beats Canelo, does he go back and defend his belts at 154 or stay at 168? I think if Charlo beat Canelo, he should go to 60. I don't think it should go all the way down to 54. I wouldn't want him to hurt his body. But 60, I think he'll be cool. Let his brother come back and fight at 68. Will Boots gain anything by sitting between rounds, energy, or power? Um, Honestly... His his ideology with that is, you know, in the gym, you don't sit down. So why are you going to sit down in a fight? I can't really say. Will we ever see him sit down? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Boots versus Zoo is a future big fight. I got Boots by stoppage. That would be a great fight. I would love that fight. Martin was producing when he doubled the jab. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I think the rhythm threw him off where he, he didn't feel confident with jabbing. In the fight, so I, I felt like he started a little slow because he was looking for another option, but it wasn't opening up until he started working behind his jam and going to the body. I think the thing with Frank, I think the thing with Frank fight, you can tell he just woke up and I think he was just cold and didn't have enough time to warm up. I mean, possibility. What age did you start boxing? I was 12 years old when I started boxing. Well, honestly, my dad took me in the gym when I was about four. I was about five years old, probably four or five years old. First time I went in the gym, he had me in the gym for a little bit. He was actually training, but I was watching a lot and I was learning. And, I mean, he was showing me little shit. And then, uh, you know what I mean? But I didn't actually start training myself until I was 12. Not training myself, but got in the gym when I was 12 years old. That's when I started boxing. If Charlo beat Canelo, he should run it back, then retire on top. Hey, that would be crazy. If you could train Kid Austin, what would you 
focus on. The first thing with Kid Austin, I would do is uh, working on more of his boxing abilities, boxing IQ. You know what I mean? I would watch a lot of tape with Kid Austin. I would sit him down and watch tape with him. That would be the first thing I would do. Fulton a better inside fighter than anyway. He going to dog him in the trenches. Watch. I believe so. Greg, have you ever been to Toronto? No, I have not been to Toronto just yet. I will be there soon. Who's the hardest puncher you've ever fought or sparred? Uh, the hardest puncher I ever fought, I mean, or spar, fought or spar is a guy named from Philly named Gerald Smith. What's good? Undercard boxing, what's popping? What's going on? We got 80 people in here, 79 people, we just dropped one. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, sent the donation in, man, that's love. You don't even have to do that. Are you in the dark? What you mean am I in the dark? Are you in the dark? What you mean? Are you in the dark? What do you think about standing on this Golden Boy situation? I think he need to get all the way away from them dudes, man. And I, and I know he not signed to them, but I'm saying stop even trying to deal with that situation over there. Just get away from it. I mean, come back on the other side and, and, and you know, just get ready for one of these guys over here. I think it'll be standing on this in boots next. That's my that's my real opinion. I think they're going to try to get something small for that. Standing on this to just go in there and punch on it. Just to get him to get his shit off and he can make a couple of dollars and then, you know what I mean, getting ready for boots. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't eaten all day. Respect my hand and I'll respect yours. Mm -hmm. What's your current fantasy fight among active fighters? I mean, it's not so much a fantasy fight because I think it can happen because we getting because we getting uh, uh, Spence and Crawford. Shit, I want Tank. I want to see Tank and Shakur next. What's popping? Idris, what's popping? Can Cool Boy win a decision in Japan? He can, but he got to win ten out of the twelve rounds, and he got to beat the shit out of him. Are people making too much of that clip with Ryan keeping his hands up? Could he have fixed this flaw soon with Derrick James? C could he have fixed his flaws this soon with Derrick James? I think I think what it is is Ryan Garcia know he need help, right? And he's a talented kid, but understanding there's some things he needs because of the way he he went out, so he's willing to listen. I think when you're willing to listen and open-minded, I think some changes can be made and, and some things can be adjusted. So I think if he, if he really believes in with the things that Derrick James is telling him, this, not, this might not be the end of uh, Ryan Garcia. He might have a bright future. You know what I mean? My bad, my phone wasn't loading. My fault. That Bumgarner fight was good. That was a good fight. It was a competitive fight. Bumgarner, I felt like, was fading out a little bit, but every time I thought that, she would definitely fight back. I like standing on but stylistically, Boots would do bad things to him. <laughs> Who's on your Mount Rushmore Philly fighters? There's too many of them, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm eating ice cream. How is it? Boots would hurt standing on this. Maybe. Just wanted to say, love your channel and insight. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. If you're a dev, do you fight Regis or Shakur? I say go Regis. Because that way he get to go up. That way he get to go up at 40. Get a little, be a little more comfortable. And you fighting a Regis who's on his way out, I believe. Regis isn't looking too good to me lately. What do you think about Troy Ozzy? Yo, I like Troy Ozzy, right? But I think Troy Ozzy... Has to work on boxing more. I'm not saying he got to get on his toes a whole lot and he got to be trying to be pretty and all. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, though, Troy Osley, he gets to the point where he get one track mind and he like, I'm just going to beat you up. But what about when it's a guy you can't just beat up? Are you going to be able to make the adjustment? That's my worries with Troy Osley. But a great kid, great shape, always coming to give his all. I think he could be good. But got to move his head and got to jab more and got to go to that body more. I mean, he got to he got to really 
Put some put some art on it. Like get smooth for me. You feel me? What do you want to accomplish in the sport over the next three to five years from coaching and boxing analyst perspective? Um, what's up, Rob? If, if, if I can get on one of the big networks and they gonna let me be me, not saying I gotta get up there and curse and shit like that. I, I ain't worried about that. I can I can talk about a fight without cursing and shit. You know what I mean? But if they won't let me do that, I'll do it. Now, as far as three, to, the next three to five years, I mean, I want, I want to get in one of them situations where we, we fight in a big fight. We up against one of the champions or we up against one of the top guys. Did Fuji hit you up? No, he ain't hit me up outside of this shit, uh, outside of YouTube. <clears throat> Who would you have in Shakur versus Tank? I don't know. That's why I want to see the fight so bad. I think Shakur and Tank would be a great fight. Do you think Frank Martin is not reaching full potential because of Derrick James' style? Seems to be super athletic, but style seems to hinder his skills. I think, I think, I don't think that. I can't, I can't say that off of one fight. I think, I just think that Frank Martin had in his mind, he was going to go in there and just beat that guy up. But then when he actually got him in front of him and seen what he, the guy was bringing to the table, I think he was like, oh shit, I got to adjust but he wasn't ready to adjust mental has a lot to do with it because your body can be ready you know what i mean you could have done all the running all the sparring all the exercising you need to do but if you if you're telling your body one thing your body is going to react fucked up when you get in that ring opposed to what you should be doing you get what i'm saying so if you're supposed to be in there boxing using your jab using your movement you're setting the guy up but you got in your mind i'm gonna go in there and beat him the fuck up you know what i mean things could I don't know. What you eat? Some noodles? No, I got spaghetti. So it's noodles inside the spaghetti, but this is spaghetti, my boy. Why doesn't Bernard help Philly fighters? I don't know. I think Bernard thought that possibly he'd be the last great thing to come out of here, and maybe he wanted to keep it that way. I don't know. I never personally got to ask him that question. Is Shadeja Green versus Clarissa Shields a mega fight for ladies? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That is a fucking ultra fight. Because Shadeja Green bring a lot to the table. And we already know the quote. Bring a lot to the table. Let's keep it real. Let's be honest. We talking about good, bo <gasps> good boxing. And they might need to add two more rounds to that fight. James was telling Ghost to work the jab. Yeah. Breakdown potential. Better be at versus Bivol fight. <clears throat> to be honest, I can see Bivol winning the early rounds. But better be at getting to him late. Now, will he stop him? I don't know. But I, I think that will be a great fight. Great fight. And that'll be the night we actually see Bivol <coughs> dig more into his skill set. I mean, better be at. I mean, better be at. We'll see better be at dig more into his skill set. Do you think Tevin Farmer will finally fight Mickey Bay? I, I don't know. I think they should leave that fight alone. Unless it's on a big network. Crawford just made it to Vegas. It's eat time. Ah, what you think about Lamont Roach? I like Lamont Roach. I just need a little bit more head movement from Lamont Roach. Um, he got a great jab. I mean, sturdy, always in shape. But I just need some more head movement, some combination punching. Dula Mason reminds me of a younger Shakur Stevenson, possibly. I think he's going to end up being a 47-pounder, 54-pounder. What do you think about... Mar Marcella Car Cornejo going down to 147 <clears throat> for her next fight. Could be good. <clears throat> I just want to see her use her ability more. You know what I mean? Cornejo can fight, but she I think she need to use her ability more. You know what I mean? Need Noble over on top rank. We working on it. We trying, bro. OG, you thought about making a panel so we can talk boxing with you. I think that would be great content for your channel. What you mean? Like, like you talking about the podcast situation? I'm working on that. Frank had a good fighter in front of him. <clears throat> I feel like people not giving Frank Martin opponent enough credit. I, I tried to speak on him. He was a bronze medalist. You know I mean, he, he, he said he had over 250 amateur fights. This guy wasn't no slouch. High level boxing, young versus the new. What you mean, young versus the new? Howdy, Greg. 
Have you changed your mind about Cool Boy? What you mean have I changed my mind about Cool Boy? Cool Boy gonna whoop that ass. My guy, Undercard Boxing, says smash the like button. That Bill Mason looks very strong for his age. He is. Greg, you should talk on one of those boxing cards. We gonna do it. I believe it's gonna happen one day. Where do you rank Bud all time if he beats Spence and if he stops him? Mm. To be honest, man, that's a tough call. Like, rank all time. You got to put Bud in the top 10 waterways. I'm going to just say that. You got to put him in the top 10 waterways. I mean, just for getting the win alone. But if he stop him, he might got to go in the top six. You know what I mean? Fantasy fight G. Floyd at 135 versus Pernell. I ain't going to lie. I think <clears throat> I think Pernell Whitaker is the best defensive fighter ever. One of them. And Floyd is the most... Like, he's one of the smartest fighters ever. That's a tough call. And it's tough because it's hard for me to pick against Pernell Whitaker, one of my favorite fighters of all time. It's hard for me to pick against Pernell Whitaker. When Cool Boy fight, July 25th. Cornflake, July 22nd. It's crazy that you can't have sex during camp. I'm late. Yeah, you don't want to do that, bro. Get you hurt. Greg, you'll be a great guest in the Port Away podcast. You and Sean exchanging jewels would be dope. So, <clears throat> somebody reach out to Sean Porter. Tell him let's make it happen. We could definitely make it happen. And what happened between you and the Boxing Voice? I saw your interview with them a year ago. The Boxing Voice. You talking about the Bulls? The two Bulls? I don't know, bro. They were just getting cute. At the mouth, I don't be really like, like we not about to start no funny business. That's all it was. It was just playing too much. I don't be playing like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I be looking at it like when I see people, if it ain't love, don't throw no shade because then the shade could turn into something else. So show love. And if it ain't love, just keep it moving. Like, But don't talk shit because we run into these people. Because the crazy thing is, I was in Vegas <coughs> like, a, like a month before that situation happened. So it's not like, you know what I mean? It's not like you won't run into these people. You know what I mean? Canelo versus Ward at 168. Of course, I like Andre Ward. I think he's too smart. Grab your prediction on Fulton versus anyway. I think Stephen Fulton stops anyway in the 10th round. ESPN plus 4.30 a.m. Damn. It's going to be that early. Where do you rank Duran all time at 135? Possibly number one. Duran is a monster, bro. Rob, I appreciate that, bro. What's up, man? Duran and this should fight San Jones for the belt. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah, that shit going to be like, I think it's going to be like 7 in the morning when they fight. What's good, G? Respect to the, to the chat. Appreciate that. What's good? Just do boxing. What's popping? What's next with your bro? I mean, we we just looking to handle some business real quick, and then we'll be right back out. You know what I mean? We got caught in a little situation. <clears throat> yeah, they always be talking slick to motherfuckers. I saw a clip of them cussing a caller out. Yeah, I just don't be, you know what I mean? They What it was was they, had a, they disagreed with something I was saying about them, but I kept stating that I wasn't saying it in, 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 in a disrespectful way. I was like, yo, utmost respect. To them dudes, because they, they do what they do. They get it popping from the studio. You know what I mean? So, because I was saying that, and I was saying they, they really don't be, they don't get their information all the way from the gyms, or, or you know, their etiquette from the gyms. They they more so just in the studio, you know what I mean? Talking crazy to motherfuckers. So, <clears throat> the boy Nesto kind of took it, took it some kind of way, and he hit me up first. He kept telling me to come on the show, and I'm like, no, I'm like, it'd be better if I came in person. You know what I mean? He like, no, no, I just want to, I mean, it ain't that deep. I just want to say something, whatever. So we get on there, we talk about it. All right, I'm thinking the shit over. <clears throat> the next day, they do a video where they like talking shit. We get money. You know, this ain't no wife beater shit because I had did a, uh, one of my 
videos after that video with them. And I had a white beater on talking to Mill from YSM. So they're like, yeah, we getting real money over here. This Vegas money and all this shit. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got to put a stop to all this. Because I don't really, I ain't about to be doing that. We ain't about to be going back and forth. I ain't trying to disrespect me and all that. My guy, Sang Jin Chang. Appreciate the love, bro. I like, listen, I like Inouye. I think Inouye is a great fighter. I just don't think he's enough for Cool Boy. I'm being honest. You already know. I appreciate that, bro. Sturdy. <clears throat> don't, you, um, don't even respond to those. Yeah, I mean, we done now. I'm putting money on Tim Ryan right now. Greg, keep it all the way, Jake. <clears throat> Can we all agree that Haney is scared of Shakur? No, I don't think that. I don't think nobody, no fighter is scared of another fighter. It just all got to make sense. What y'all got to remember, bro, it's not the fighters pulling the strings. It's really not. It's, it, it, it's the promoters, the networks. You know what I mean? It's the investors. A lot of people got hands in this shit. I want y'all to understand that. It's not the fighters. The fighters just playing their part. Big old entertainment business. You always keep it a buck. Always appreciate that. <clears throat> Did you get some rest? Uh -huh. Without being biased, did Pitbull Cruz whoop Tank? Yay or nay? I don't think he whooped him. I think he put a lot of pressure on him. That's what I think. I don't think he whooped Tank. I just think he put a lot of pressure on him. He did pressure the shit out of Tank, though. He 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 stayed on Tank ass. He did. But he wasn't he wasn't able to land a lot of the shit that he threw. Because if he did, you got you to remember, Pitbull Cruz is a real dog. He be knocking shit out. So if he was landing against Tank, I think Tank would have went out like everybody else. But... It just wasn't the case. <clears throat> what you think Floyd versus Floyd Kings would look like? Floyd probably would come out two, two and two. <clears throat> He's still a smart fighter. And you got to remember, Floyd's still very well conditioned. He's one of the best conditioned fighters I've ever seen. You know why, you know why I say that? One, he spent most of the fight on his legs. Two, every time I've seen him hurt, he always recovered and come back stronger. That's why I say that about Floyd. Boxing IQ as a show is not the greatest. Mm -hmm. Could be a lot better. Greg, do I know that you have a gift talking boxing and breaking it down? Do I know that you have a gift talking boxing and breaking it down? You have a real gift and you're the people's champ <clears throat> with us common folks. You have a million dollar talent, my guy. I appreciate that, bro. I really do. Mr. Daniels, I appreciate that. The zone went to get that bad home versus Shakur for the vacant WBC. That'd be great. Ain't nobody ducking nobody. <clears throat> that fight just not ready yet, to be honest. It needs to happen at 140. I hope he way too much for anyway and get him done big boy style. Oh, shit. Yo, bro, why haven't they shown anyways without a test? I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of money involved in this shit, y'all. That's the last thing they want to talk about. Yeah, bro, I finally got some sleep. From... Oh, yeah. Damn. You have great boxing IQ, J. I appreciate that. People can't beat Tank, but if I'm Tank, I'm staying away. I'm going to keep it real. Tank was the closest I've seen to him. Gorilla Zay was popping. Non-boxing related question. What are your top three favorite food spots in Philly? I don't know, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. My cousin Zay is a hell of a chef. The gorilla Zay. The chef god. The gorilla chef. Um, I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, you can catch me at Crown, but then you can catch me at Budokai. You can catch me at Crown Fry, and then you can catch me at, I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a fat boy. I like to eat, bro. <clears throat> salute, salute to Just Do Boxing. Welcome to this newborn son. Congratulations on your newborn son, my boy. Such a blessing. For sure. Having a boy is the blessing of the world. Daughters too. But when you got you a boy, you got you a little guard dog. You feel me? <laughs> what up, Greg? Tony versus Hawkins, prime for prime. Who you got? I think, I think, I think James Tony was just a little too much for Bernard. Because Bernard likes to work at his pace. And James Tony definitely going to work at his pace. Andre Ward versus... But that would have been a great fight. Andre Ward versus Roy Jones would be crazy. But, but Roy speed different. Yeah, a young Roy, man. Oh, man. Yeah, we talking about big problems in the little China. 
Yo, out the four kings, who do you think Floyd is the hardest fight with? The hardest fight. <clears throat> it'd be Tommy or it'd be um Marvin. It'd be Tommy or Marvin. <clears throat> My bro. You and YSM gotta do the podcast. For sure we will. How many fights Jared need before stepping up and count? Talking about Jared Anderson, I would say. Ah, I would say at least four more. Only because he uh, he scared me sometimes. Craig, what's up? <clears throat> what's next with Spence and Bud after the fight, Greg, in your opinion? The rematch. Let's get right to it. Double the bag up. It's 22 too late to start boxing. No, 22 is a horse, man. It's a young horse. <clears throat> Appreciate you, fan. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Is Bud a nightmare stylistically for Spence, in your opinion? I wouldn't say a nightmare, but I would say something to worry about. I wouldn't say a nightmare, though. James Sony, best boxer for fighter ever. Smart guy. Did you ever get to see Mel Teller fight live? I never got to see Mel Teller fight live, but I met him before. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say dog, full and sure. It's... That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Dog, full and show his test, and they don't even want him to bring that topic up. Shaking my head. I'm still betting on full. PA in the building. You already know what's up for sure, Hagler. <clears throat> Out of the four kings, best restaurants in Gatesburg and Silver Spring. Guess best restaurants in Gatesburg. When I was down, when I when I was down Gatesburg, I. Shit, I don't know where I ate at down there. I used to be at McDonald's. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> and, then we, and, and we had pretty good food at the school, Redland Middle School. And and, uh, and, and what I went to Redland Middle School and Magruder High School. <clears throat> I did like three months, in, three or four months in Magruder High School, and I got up out of there. A lot of fighters slash trainers from our city show you love. Do you <clears throat> attribute that to your upbringing in the gym? <clears throat> um, yeah, I can say that because a lot of the fighters, trainers, shit like that in the city, I even got, I even got in the ring with them or their fighters. So, and, and, you know what I mean? A lot of people wouldn't believe it, but I got, I whooped on a lot of ass. I did. I whooped on, I had my share. <laughs> I had my share of giving on ass whoopings. And anybody that ever got over with me, I, I returned that favor. <laughs> Tank versus Prime Sweet Pea. How does it end? Sweet Pea. I'm going Sweet Pea. Jerry Anderson pulled back too much. Wilder and Fury will cook the shit out of the real shit. Gee, I've been calling Martin average for a while now. Do you agree now? I wouldn't <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't call him average. I just think the experience that a lot of these guys do have that we could compare them to, Martin don't have. And Martin's still trying to believe in himself. He do believe in himself. But he's still trying to be sure of himself. And I think that's just what that was about. He just, you know what I mean? He was, he he, he really didn't get warmed up. He, and I'm not talking about he warmed up in the back. I'm talking about in the ring. He really didn't get the finest angles. And next thing you know, he down a few rounds and he tried to fight his way back. So I think his mindset was just off. But I don't think, I don't think Frank Martin is ready though for the top level. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think he's ready. Do you think anyway he was cycling off? Yeah, I feel that way a little bit. You do think Floyd Floyd beating Terry Norris at 154? I think Floyd is just too smart for a Terry Norris. Terry, Terry Norris can fight, but I just think Floyd, like I say, he's, he's one of the smartest fighters ever. If it goes to the cards in Japan, you think it can get it it can it it can get hurt for in getting the decision if it comes to it, Greg. I think. <clears throat> I think if it's close and they go to the cards, of course they're gonna give it to anyway. But that's why Cool Boy can't let it go to the cards, to be honest. Leonard versus Mayweather, I got Leonard. And then Prime said, yeah, that's a tough one. Punch on that like button, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Three international judges, why? Why wouldn't he? Yeah. God of War, hell no. Why you say that? God of War, hell no. Two five greatest top five greatest trainers of all time, in your opinion. Top five graded. That's tough. I, I stopped. You know what I stopped doing? I stopped making lists. I don't make lists no more. 
I'm gonna be real with y'all. I ain't trying to be lazy. I got trainers I like. Of course, I like Mayo Stewart. Of course, I like Eddie Futch. Of course, I like um, Freddie Roach, who was a who was a student of Eddie Futch. Of course, I like Georgie Benton. He's a, he's a legend. Um, Georgie Benton is a, is a fucking legend. Um, of course, I like Nacho Bernstein. Of course, I like. Uh, uh, I mean, it's so many guys, man. So many coaches. You know what I mean? I'm just a fan of, uh, of a bunch of guys. I don't like to make the list no more. Come to Southeast and eat. And eat the hood. Got all the good spots. I already know. I'm 26. Too late to start boxing. A slight previous boxing experience. No, it's only too late if you keep waiting. It's only too late if you keep waiting. You know what I mean? Frank Martin versus Edwin De Los Santos. Now y'all see what I'm talking about. That would be a great fight. Did Cool Boy win? They didn't fight yet. I read 47 World Champion coming from Philly. That is crazy. For sure. What you think about Troy Osley? I told y'all, I think Troy Osley tough. He need to work on that jab. He need to work on that head movement. You know what I mean? He just work on his game more. He, well, he definitely battle tested. He a dog for sure. But when you're dealing with the elite 160 pounders, shit like that, you got to be moving your head. Man. You gotta get, he got to get a little bit slicker. How you be cycling if he had his blood work in the picture? When he sent his test, when he sent his test, I don't know. I ain't seen no papers, so somebody got to send me some papers. If y'all can send me some papers, send me some papers. Half of performing in big fights is being under the lights. It's men going nine and just skill. I don't know what that means. When the last time you watched Roy Jones versus Tony fight? <clears throat> one of my favorite old school fights. It's probably been like a year. I ain't gonna lie. I was watching. I got stuck on watching um, James Tony and um, and Mike McCollum. They was getting that shit on. I watched that shit over and over. You know what I mean? Nobody worries about the cards. For former fighters in America, if fool and dominates, he will win. How do you fight a fighter like Shakur? <sighs> to be honest, you got to be letting your hands go, but you got to be patient. At the same time, I know that sound weird, but that's kind of how it got to go. And you got to keep your distance, but you got to get in there. That shit is crazy. Shakur, Shakur, everything about Shakur is a double standard, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's confusing fucking with Shakur. You got to be careful. got to be smart. I said, hell no, because I think Norris was Floyd's down. Walks down Floyd at 154, and now 140 to 47, maybe. <clears throat> side with Floyd, but 54, I'm going north. I'm just saying, I just think Floyd is a smarter fighter. Greatest advice you ever received in boxing, period, training or boxing. The great, the great Billy Briscoe told me, he said, Greg, it's easy to be brave with another man's blood. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So that means watch everybody. Bo Mack or Derrick James, who you like? It's a better trainer. I respect both trainers. Both both of them got great products. Both of them at the top level of boxing. How could you not like either guy? When Boots hit that slow motion move, I jump off of my seat. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. I got the other sign told by KO. You think he had knocked Frank Martin out? Wow. I'm 22, but I was told it's too late to go pro. Well, you talking to the wrong people. Coach Greg, realistically, how long does it take to learn the box? It, it, it always depends on, on the pupil. Everybody's different. Everybody learns different. Everybody um, picks up different. Everybody, life is different. Like, you know what I mean? You might be better at me at shooting pool, better than me at shooting pool. I don't know. But, and it might have only took you like three months where it might take me fucking three years. You know what I'm saying? It's all in how you look at things. It's all in how you receive the energy. It's all in the, the work you put in. Jerry Anderson working on it. Working on his boost father. Huh? Martin versus Cepeda. That's a good one. Did you watch the Jahad Tucker fight? Was he robbed? Yeah, I think he was. I don't think he lost the fight. I think I did think he I did think Jahad Tucker stayed on the ropes a little too long, but I definitely think he won the fight. How would you rank Hagler, Monzon, Triple G, and Hopkins? Oh man. I don't know, man. That's the top shit. That's like the top four right there. Heavyweight division better get under a rock <clears throat> if he tighten up on his defense. No beating that. No beating that, man. So now, who does Tank fight? 
So now who does Tank fight? Does Tank fight. If he fights Pitbull Cruz, the fans going to give him backlash. But they sent Devin a contract, and Devin said he going to 140. Bob Aram doesn't want to make the fight with Shakur. What's the most underrated piece of equipment in the gym? All, all, all equipment is valid in the gym. You need everything in there. I don't, I don't like to call nothing underrated. You need all that shit. Everything fits the purpose in the gym. Everything. Everything. Underrated, overrated. Underrated, the bag. The heavy bag. I'm sorry. I, I read that wrong. The heavy bag. The heavy bag is the most underrated. That's all you need to get ready for a fight. Heavy bag and sparring. You think Tink's benefits from styles he matched up with? For sure. For sure. What you think about Derrick James when he was a fighter? I saw a little bit of him. You know what I mean? He looked like he looked like he was slow. His left hand carried it low. You know what I mean? But he was a puncher too, though. I mean, Derrick James would hurt you from what I saw. Pretty big guy too for the weight class. I feel like people want anyway to win so bad, like they think anyway has more to lose. Cool Boy still hasn't got his props. Yet, compared to anyway, they don't realize Cool Boy came from the mud. I don't know what it is neither, but Cool Boy know what he got to do, bro. We ain't even got to talk about it. I struggle against fighters who defensive first, coach. So just take your time. When you're in there with a guy that's being defensive, take your time. Try not to give up so much real estate. You know what I mean? Take your time with your shots. Work your way in. Go to that body. Slow him down. You know what I mean? Could Dev go up to 140? And go undisputed after seeing their current champions. It's possible. It's all about being smart and putting that shit together. Frank throw the same sequence over and over. Yeah. That's why I said I felt like Frank got stuck mentally. Because he kept throwing the same shit. That's true. Where Tank said he sent the contract to Devin. McCullum versus Tony. It's a great fight to go Back and watch real shit. Just stay in the gym if you're serious. Anything can be done. Regis started late and Frank Martin. Yep, it's true. Hit them likes up. Hit that like button, y'all. They say go ahead and tap that like button. Go 202. Appreciate you. What you eating, Greg? I just got done with the spaghetti. Jerry Edison in Philly now. He working with Boost Pops. If he get that defensive tight, I don't see no heavyweight beating him. Oh, so Jerry Edison is in Philly. Okay. Who's the best rapper from Philly? I don't know. Me. I'm hot. Niggas not fucking with me. Buddy McGurk versus Pernell Whitaker is a great one to watch. It definitely is for his upcoming fight. <clears throat> I think Abdullah Mason can match up with anybody at 35. What you think? I think it's a little too early to talk like that. I, I, think, I think he will be great. I think he will be great, but I think it's too early to say anybody. Got to be careful. The water does get deep. And people do start to panic. Tank versus Shakur is a mega fight, but Bob won't let him leave top rank. True. I saw that cat, Trayvon Marshall. He is serious. Where do you see him in a year and a half? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. And he got a serious fight coming up. Trayvon Marshall fighting a serious cat. Undefeated. An old head, but he undefeated. Dangerous. On the Rise podcast today, Kenny said they did. And he... Hold up. They did. And he said, Devin said he going to 140. Mm. What's the best way to fight an over-aggressive fighter? I mean, so if a guy is going over and around, then you go down the middle and you keep everything short and precise. And especially to the body. You want to slow him up to the body, calm him down. Once he calms down, you got to whoop that ass. You got to whoop his ass. But keep everything precise, small, short. My bad, y'all. Can y'all hear me? <clears throat> My pop drum. I know you feel they kind of feeding kid Austin easy fights. And I agree with you. So who is a good mid-tier fight that you give him some credit for? Because he definitely not ready for the top fighters at 135. I think I think it should be a, a guy like Frank Martin and, and Kid Austin. Or it should be a guy like Keyshawn Davis. And Kid Austin. Or it should be a guy like Andy Cruz and Kid Austin. Should be fights like that. 
me and Tate going to kill Devin, but Styles make fight. But I need Haney going. But I know I need Haney going to need some chin insurance. I know Haney going to need some chin insurance. Yeah, shit. About to get scary. Who do you think wins a fantasy fight between Monzo and Hagler? I don't know, bro. Might as well throw a lot of punches. Hagler is a grimy motherfucker. I don't know. Where you from in Philly, Greg? Hood or block? I'm from... All right, so I was born... I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I was born in Abbotsford Projects and East Falls Projects. My dad from East Falls. My mom from Abbotsford. Um, I grew up there. I moved to Frankfurt when I was like six for a year. I moved to Bristol when I was seven for a few years, came back down to East Falls, went to Cook with Hicken Elementary, graduated from there fifth grade, went back up to Bristol, came back down, moved back to Abbotsford, then moved to Germantown when I was like 12, 13. Germantown all the way up until I was like 18. Then from you know, 18, I was down in North Philly. You know what I mean? So I'm from Philly, man. You know what I mean? I'll put it like that. And up Germantown from 600 block of uh, Shelton Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Germantown is where I got into all my shit. First time I did everything was in Germantown. Everything you could do right and everything you could do wrong, I did it in Germantown. You feel me? So I'm I'm really like, I consider myself a Germantown boy, but then again, I'm I'm like a Philly, I'm just a Philly boy because I, I moved all over. You know what I mean? I even stayed in Maryland for a year. Like I said, I just, I mean, my shit is all over. Mirror is your best friend and record, record your sparring, shadow boxing. Box for reference. Yeah, real shit. That little dude not ready for no real comp yet. Kick a freestyle, Greg. Die, line, die. Y'all know I'm hot, man. I might act crazy for y'all one night. I got y'all. Somebody need to fight Regis' last opponent. Greg, I think Keyshawn should go down to 130 and collect some belts. I don't think Keyshawn can make 30. I ain't gonna lie. He's very muscular. Salute. Much respect. I like that kid, but it's definitely too early to give credit. Mason, yeah. How do you think Devin will do at 140? I think Devin will do great. I mean, I think it's some guys in there that's that's, that's dangerous. Subriel Matias is dangerous. Uh, 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 Richard Hitchison is dangerous. You know what I mean? Richardson Hitchens or whatever. How you say his name? I'm sorry. Africa. Very dangerous. Still going with Bud by stoppage. Yes, sir. Seventh for eighth round. Facts. Michael Jordan wasn't Jordan until his fourth year. Pacquiao wasn't Pacquiao until his fourth Fight anyway equals Kobe. B facts. Ha. Huh. Salute, bro. Yeah, we here. How should fool and fight anyway if you was trainer? I say box him the first few rounds and start stepping on him. Hit him in the Adams at who? Kid Austin over tough. It's over tough physically. Very tough. How do you force a motherfucker to fight? You fight when you're naturally defensive. Um, when you're naturally defensive, but that might be a fight. So what you gotta do is slow them down with your jab, slow them down with your feet. You know what I mean, you can pace a fight with your movement. You can you can make a guy slow down. Yeah, I went to Germantown for a little bit. I went to Germantown. I think my first year at Germantown was like 2001. I think 2001. Then I got I ain't get kicked out, but I, I got transferred. My mom took me out. Put me in Hope Charter. I got kicked out of Hope Charter, and I went back to Germantown, 10th grade. Yeah, but I didn't graduate from Germantown. Any, any good boxes you know before the 1930s? Jack Johnson. Fuck you talking about. Stream yard. Stream yard. And I'll join the Freestyle Cypher. Aha! I ask because you look extremely familiar. I'm from Northwest Angie Town area. Have written all over me. Shit, uh, I drive old cars. Hit me up on the gram. I probably, I mean, we probably ran across each other, bro, for sure. Cause I definitely used to move around a little bit, so you know. I heard I haven't heard about Sandor Martin since the Teal fight. I wouldn't mind seeing him soon. Sandor Martin is one of them guys you don't call unless you need somebody tested. To be honest, Sandor Martin is dangerous, bro. But he don't have a he not a big draw over here, so they're not gonna keep running him back. You dig? They're gonna just keep using him. They're gonna use him every time they want to test somebody. I haven't heard about I mean, damn, I just read that. Golden Boy wants kill Austin to fight Jojo Diaz. I think that's a good fight. MC was late 30s. 
Richard Hitchison, Hitchison, a tough fighter. He gonna be champion one day for sure. I love Super Real Matias, but I think Devin will make it a very boring, easy outside fight. Matias don't box. He said what you said what you see is what you get. That's true. Stop it early. Seven rounds. The fuck you must think, bud, is Iron Man. No, I don't think he Iron Man. I don't think he Iron Man. I think what I really think is I think Earl Spence is going to pressure Bud. He's going to pressure Bud so bad. He's going to force Bud to fight. And when Bud fight, decide to fight, he's going to let some shit go. Some shit that, that Earl ain't going to be ready for or see. And it's going to be like, oh, shit. And fight going to turn around. I could be wrong. That's just my observation. I could definitely be wrong. If I am wrong, I will admit it. The very next morning, I will get up, go live, and say that I was wrong. Whatever happens, happens in that fight. I think it's going to be a great fight. But I just think that's just what I think is going to happen. You incorporate any other martial arts techniques and boxing style. If so, then what? I don't know any other martial arts, but I do speak about certain shit. And I do speak about animals a lot. You know what I mean? I, I make... Comparisons to certain animals, if I see it. What's bragging? What's popping? Speed up. What's going on? I used to be with this, with Sneed, Troy, and Vodka every day. So you from back, uh, uh, what they call it, Top Hawk and all that shit back there. Sneed, Troy. I heard that name before. Sneed. I heard that name. So you talking about Strawberry and all them too? You know him too, right? You got to, because he used to be with Vodka. I used to run, I used to, so I'm from Shelton and Musgrave, right? 6, 615 East Shelton Avenue. And then, and then for a little while, I used to run with the Alkies too, for sure. My man, P from down there. So maybe we came back there and played y'all in football or something. Because I remember we came back there and played football one time at Mallory. Who do you think is the top dog at 140? The top dog at 140 is it's tough to say. It's a lot of guys there. I don't, I don't got the gram no more. All right, hit me up on Facebook if you got Facebook. Gee, I seen ESPN might drop top rank boxing. Is that a bad look on Bob Aaron or boxing in general? I think it's a bad look for boxing. Uh, top rank, I think, I mean, ESPN, I think, is, is having some budget trouble. So they've been paying a lot of people. So I think they're having budget trouble. I think that's what all the cuts and shit was about. And boxing probably was costing them a nice chunk. So who knows? But Bob, Bob going to find a way. One thing about Bob, he going to find a way. Hitchens is the best at 140, in my opinion. He is he is sharp. Do you think Gary Russell can still make some noise in the sport or in his career coming coming to coming to a close? I, I mean, I would hate to say it's coming to a close because he's very talented. But, I mean, he definitely got to get active. Y'all, Spencer and Frank Martin fans are equivalent to LeBron fans. Ha! Ah, Africa definitely very talented. Kung Fu translated well. Tim Zhu mad right now about Canelo. I'm mean, about Charlo. What you think about him? I think Tim Zhu just got to wait his turn. He got to understand the business side. You know what I mean? Because who who would turn down a Canelo fight? That's big money. Big money. Fucking with Canelo is like a minimum of ten million dollars. Crazy, I'll fight Canelo right now. What the fuck y'all talking about? I mean, right now. I'm talking about I get out the house, <clears throat> go right outside, and rumble the shit out Canelo right now. Kung Fu is Chinese boxing. Salute J. Lay low. What's up with you? I think if Spence thinks it's going to be too easy, which will be the reason he get buzzed. And Bud come finishing. That's sort of how I see it. Yes, sir. I'm from Hollow and G Town. Yeah. I used to come down to Hollow too. Wayne Ave Day and all that. For sure. What do you think about Earl's blocking punches with martial arts style? Level blocking his face. I mean, shit. Whatever works. I was all around. I was outside. G dropped out in ninth grade. I got. I do got Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Give me up on Facebook. Greg Hacking on Facebook. I dropped out of the 10th grade, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hope Charter was my last shot. When I went back to Germantown, I already thought I knew everything. I mean, I was one of them kids in school. I hated school because I I would see past certain shit. I'd be like, we not gonna use that in the real world. You know what I mean? I was against a lot of shit. I hated learning about certain shit. I felt like it just ain't make sense. 
You know what I mean? I was one of them kids. I felt like black history was bullshit. A lot of this learning about slaves and shit. I'm like, I used to be in class. Like, why the fuck is he teaching us about this? Like, what's, like, what's supposed to come out of it? But really what I learned, it was some, it was a type of brainwashing. You know what I mean? But that's another conversation. You feel me? Do you foresee more unity in Philly boxing between the gyms, fighters, and trainers? Yeah, it's going to have to be, for sure. Because it's Philly against the world. I'm going to be real with you. Because Philadelphia is the only place that gets that gets compared to countries and states and shit like that. But it's just Philadelphia. It's just a little it's a little place for real. What's your favorite Mexican fighter of all time? Chavez, for sure. Chavez is a fucking beast. I, I tell you who my favorite right now is. Diego Pacheco. I like cuz. Who is the better right hook, Bud or Crawford? Mmm, interesting. I don't know. That's going to be good to see, though. G, what you think, Ricky? G, you think Winky Wright was underrated for sure? They hated they hated Winky Wright because he was a big southpaw. I mean, it was tough to get to him. Elbow boxing, you like the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. They would do more for kicks and punches, right? I mean, it depends. You can make it work, make it work. Figueroa thought he was robbed against Fulton. Figueroa just, you know what I mean? He just didn't treat him like everybody else treated him. And then you got to be honest. I mean, he didn't treat him like he treat everybody else, so he he felt some kind of way. Then you got to be honest, who you ever see really get to Figueroa like that? He worked for that Figueroa, Figueroa fight. I ain't, hey, Greg, I ain't going to lie. The way he walked away division is being handled. If I were Boots, I'd think about going to 154 to fight Tim Zhu and get ahead of him to fight Earl when they move up. <clears throat> That's actually a good move, but Boots, he said he wanted that. He said he want that. Um, he said he want that undisputed at forty seven, bro. G Town High was crazy. Shit, who you telling? I was there. Shit, I was there when they found. Um, I was there when they found. Uh, I was in school today when they found. Uh, what was my gang number name, man? I forgot cause name. They found him hanging in the auditorium, and tried to say he committed suicide. That was crazy. That happened in high school. I'm like, the fuck y'all mean? He hung himself. And then he later on found out that his ribs was broken. No, you can't break your own ribs and then hang yourself. That's I, I never heard no shit like that. You gotta do a, you gotta do your own black history research. Real shit. What's your take on boxing and relationships? Boxing relationships, man, you get like I said earlier, you gotta find a woman who or a man, if you're a female boxer, you got to find somebody that really understand what's going on. And, and that's actually rare. So the main thing is to really just be focused on yourself. This is really just what you're looking for as a boxer. You're just looking for somebody that's supportive. You know what I mean, man? Like, you know, ASAP, real shit. I do classes 20 an hour. Classes on what? You got to, you got to know your history. Smash the like button, y'all. Appreciate y'all. What do you see Gary Antoine wrestle at 140? Gary Antoine actually about to fight August 12th, I believe. Yeah, that's the wrong programming. Philly Zo, what's up, my gang? Literally watching the bud fight at. I'm going to be watching that shit in the crib. I don't go to no fight parties or none of that. I'm in the crib with it. I'm going to be going live. I'm going to be breaking that shit down. Figaro top five. And punches landed on him. So once he get in there with... Watch as he's in trouble. <clears throat> I left the year before. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Black history classes. His name was Will. That was his name. Dark Skin Will from Hank Street. Found him hanging, bro. That was crazy. <clears throat> Who you got? Calvin or Bullet? I got fucking my old head, Calvin. I'm joking, though. I want to start a black history channel for real. Well, go ahead and make it happen, bro. Fuck that. Hey, listen, y'all, I've been on here for 60 more, 64 minutes, I'm sorry, 64 minutes. Y'all been showing nothing but love, man, appreciation. I, I appreciate the donations. I, mean, I got to get ready for tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. I'm all right. I had some dinner. I had some bath. You know what I mean? I appreciate the love. Shout out to everybody in this joint, man. Shout out to everybody who tapped in. You know what I mean? We just... We just Pushing right along, we waiting for these fights to happen. We got these two big fights coming. We got Anyway and Fulton, Fulton versus Anyway. We got Spence versus Crawford, Crawford versus Spence. We waiting on these joints, man. That's what it's really all about for the next two weeks. Y'all know what it is. Let's get it popping. 
You know what I mean? I'm going to get up in the morning. And I'm going to bless y'all some more. I'm ready to go lay down. Well, I got to get my, you know what I mean? My wash up situation together. I'm going to go lay down. I mean, get the likes up before y'all go. I appreciate y'all. Get with me. Appreciate that, Tia. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's nothing but love. I fuck with y'all. If y'all see me, holler at me. You know what I mean? You don't let me just walk past you and you, and you knew that was me. You ain't, and I look like girl, you knew it was me. Who walking around with this nappy ass bear like me? You feel me? Say something to me. Say what's up, man. I'm going to say what's up back. We're going to rap the taste a little bit. I mean, whatever. Take a picture or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Let's get it. You know what I mean? I'm here. We getting it in. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks for, for fucking with me on this live tonight. You know what I'm saying? Greg Hackett Boxing. Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter. Greg, Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram. Greg Hackett on Facebook. Get with me. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Appreciate the donations. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the likes and shares. Thank you. Get with me. Get with me. <laughs> you feel me?